all right so based on request and for the sake that we've not we didn't treat this on the drone particle day i'll be teaching you how to process the image so you click on workflow either you choose add photos or you choose add folder so i'll go with add photos so click add photos locate the folder where the the, the picture is saved or where the picture is open up the folder and then you add all photos you select all photos you select all photos i'll go i'm going to be using my project photos to do this because i actually forgot to copy the drone image the one we did at um enugu state so but the one i sent to you guys are the one you're going to work with for now okay after adding photos then you go back to workflow you go step by step and then you click align photos for the sake of this for it to be very fast i'm going to be choosing um the recommended one you should be choosing is high but i'm going to be using high and interchangeably medium but for now you choose high and then leave every other thing at the advanced stage you leave it at default and then you choose okay allow your work to run usually takes time depending on your system processing um speed it takes time this system i'm using about 16 gig ram and i don't i forgot i think it's i i i call seven that i'm using or like i call five i don't know but depending on your processing speed that is how it's going to run very fast if it doesn't it might even take four hours for you to align your photos yes it might take four hours for you to align photo so just allow it to work it took me some time to process this but for a fast system it might take you less than um 20 minutes for a slow system it might take you up to four hours then this is what it looks like after aligning your photos you can explore your your images uh, this but is not necessarily needed now so we'll go back to workflow the third step is now to build um dense cloud dense cloud is like point clouds where you get your x y z like the height of each point or each buildings or any place in that surface area so to build this i will not use the high because i don't want to waste time on this but where why building yours it is recommended that you use high or highest i'm going to be using the medium so i'll be using the medium and um then go and um, choose advance leave it at mute every other thing leave it at default then you click ok and allow to run just like that or rather let me take it to low so it's going to be very fast then you click ok and allow to run You see, for this system, it's not taking so much time. But for yours, I really don't know how long it's going to take, but all depends on your processing speed. Then we go back to workflow as well and click build, um, build mesh. Build mesh. We click the build mesh, and then we choose the surface that is going to work on. We should we choose the dense cloud. It's going to use the dense cloud to work on. Then the surface, we leave it at 3D. And then every other thing at default and we allow it to run the essence of all of this is to create an auto mosaic image every of these images would be worn you know why taking these um drone images the it has already been conf configured that it's going to be at 75 percent overlap so all of these image are going to be auto mosaic to be worn so these are the steps that you're going to take for you to get your auto mosaic image I had to be pushing and playing so I wouldn't take much of your time so the video will not be so long and um, the progress where you're going to be looking at for your progress is this down the down bar not even the up bar so this is what your build meshed image look like this is what it looks like and this is where you can explore probably when you're creating a 3d image you can zoom in zoom out explore your work environment so the next step we are going to take is to build the dm 
the dm is um you can actually build the surface area where you can build on you can actually build on the mesh or you build with the dance with the dense cloud leave your each the mine is showing resolution at 0 0.4 so which is okay you can leave it at that and then when it pops up that you have to save your your work before proceeding when this shows up you have to go back to file and save save your work to wherever or folder you're working with after saving it then you can come back and continue the process build dem okay our image has been saved now you have to go workflow click build dem and then just as we have done it before just click ok and allow it to run after clicking your dm it will pop up the d you we all know what dm is now the digital surface model digital elevation model that is where you get your surface heights of everywhere in your study area both the building inclusive the floor inclusive surface height of everything in your study area so the next step we are going to take is create auto mosaic now the surface will be the dm leave everything else at default resolution for mine is 0 0.05 meter click ok and allow to run so you see how simple this is if you have a very fast system everything just works for you and <laughs> everything just works for you and it, it, it's so easy just go to the field get your your image come back to the office or go back to your home and work it at night and you get your auto mosaic image and then you can go ahead to analyze your image so this is our auto mosaic um, image running it's in progress right now i'll have to pause so that it will run okay it's fast already so um this is it for our auto mosaic image is already coming up and Sometimes it might not show, so just go to your layer and double click on auto mosaic image, and then this is it. You zoom in to see how very clear it is. This image was acquired at 150 meter, just like the one we acquired in um in Nugu State at NIGS conference. So imagine if you are taking this at 50 meter, you know how very clear this would be. If if it was taken at 60 meter, you know how very clear it would have been. So that is it for this so okay now i want to export the image so you go to file export export dm and here is where you change the coordinate system you want to export in you probably want you don't want to export in the wgs84 you can find your national coordinate here and export in or probably you want to leave it at wgs84 epgs you leave it there and export your dm the same thing applies for auto mosaic there are two um, ways of exporting either you go to file and you export or you come down to i'm going i'm coming let me click it now export this is me exporting the dm so i can export and then the other way is coming down to auto mosaic right click export auto mosaic and voila change your coordinate system if you don't want it to be in wgs84 then you can go ahead and export and you have your auto mosaic image so after exporting you can continue your analysis on ArcGIS or QGIS depending on the software you're using for your analysis so our uh, images are being exported this is the auto mosaic being exported it might take some time like i said depending on your processing speed your laptop processing speed or your laptop processor speed however the english might go <laughs> so this is it for the auto mosaic image it's still running and yeah we are done so you can go back to um opening it normally using um your laptop image viewer or you can just open up arcgis and, and import your image or drag it to the workspace your image will load automatically on arcgis all right so mine is taking some time 
okay drag and drop and this is what our drone image our auto mosaic image looks like on ArcGIS and then you can continue your data analysis here you can do an as with survey get your boundary your perimeter get coordinates and that is it and remember to do this so you will not forget it i would be sending a zip folder of the image and the software whenever you have time and you would like to practice feel free to also ask me questions thank you